Hello Learning Birds, this is Mr. Buffington and today we are going to be looking at the organization of an expository essay. We're going to talk about the organizing of the entire essay and also the organization of each individual paragraph within the essay. Let's look at the essay as a whole. I personally recommend the five paragraph essay format where you have an introduction paragraph supporting detail paragraphs that make up the body of the essay, and then a conclusion paragraph where you readdress the thesis statement or the point of the whole essay and kind of bring all the things nicely together. What we're going to do in this lesson is I'm going to look at the introduction, a supporting detail paragraph, and a conclusion paragraph and talk about what needs to be inside of each of those and show an example of each one. Our introduction paragraph needs to have an attention getter to grab the reader's attention. It can be a quotation, a fun fact, something else that might help the reader to kind of get involved and, and want to read the rest of the essay. You're going to state your three-pronged thesis, and each of these three points will be the main supporting details in the essay. The introduction paragraph is usually shorter than five sentences. It's often the shortest paragraph in the essay because it doesn't need to do much. It just needs to introduce the topic, state the thesis, and grab the attention of the reader. Inside the body paragraphs, you're going to have a very common and hopefully very um, memorable organization here should look familiar. Inside each paragraph you're going to have a topic sentence where you state the main idea of the paragraph that will come from the thesis and then you're going to give supporting evidence for that topic sentence. So you could give an example, a statistic, a quote, some kind of evidence, something that's going to support the idea you're trying to make and the idea you're trying to make supports the thesis. So all of this goes back to supporting the main idea you're trying to make, which is the thesis. At the conclusion of these body paragraphs, you'll then readdress the topic and possibly relate it back to the thesis. The conclusion paragraph readdresses the thesis statement makes a conclusion based on the evidence that was shown, and then adds something new to the topic like a call to action would be a common addition. So if you're writing an essay all about climate change, you might encourage the reader to go and recycle a little bit more or something like that. Just some kind of call to action based on the things that you've shown inside of the essay. So here's a sample introduction paragraph. Old MacDonald had a farm, but what was it about his farm that was so special? Every farm is different, but there are some things that are often connected with our idea of farm life. The animals, crops, and equipment on a farm help to comprise what we think of as farm life. Get out of the city and learn about life on the farm. So maybe the teacher gave a writing prompt that said, write about farm life. And this would be a sample introduction paragraph about farm life. Notice we have the thesis here with our supporting details, animals, crops, and equipment comprise what we think of as farm life. Again, what do we think of as farm life would be our thesis statement for this. Here's a supporting detail paragraph. I picked one of them at random. I just wrote the paragraph about farm equipment. Farm equipment is another important aspect of farm life. Farmers need reliable tools to help with their animals or crops. One of the most common pieces of farm equipment is a tractor. Tractors are used in a variety of ways to help with many of the chores that need to be done on a farm. On almost every farm, you will find the farmer using this reliable piece of farm equipment. Notice we have a topic sentence, and we have supporting details there. We also have a concluding sentence that relates it back to what you will find on a farm, or what is part of farm life. So we have all of those pieces put together for a supporting detail paragraph. The last paragraph we're going to talk about is the conclusion. Each farm is different and productive in a variety of ways. Although there are differences, there are several similarities in farm life. The animals, crops, and machines all serve a function to help make the farm productive. 
While visiting a farm, you will also always find a hardworking farmer who helps fill our grocery stores with food. So we have a readdress of our thesis statement. It wasn't an exact copy of our thesis, but we readdress it. We remind the reader the main points we're trying to make and why we're trying to make them. We also add something to the essay. The essay has been talking about animals, crops, and machines. Now we're also including there's also a hardworking farmer there and he fills our grocery store with food. So we add in some kind of conclusion that brings something together and adds to what was given in the essay. I hope that lesson was helpful for you on the organization of an expository essay. Have a wonderful day.